Hi, welcome back. So in this session, we are going to implement the post method. Okay. So for now, we have uh, we have an endpoint called slash products, and it's uh, it has a get method. So when you when you call it, it returns the list of products. Now this is something that I added uh, to the code, and I'll, when we get to the VS Code, I'll, I'm going to show you how it's done. It's very simple. But what we want to do is we want to implement the POST method on the same endpoint. And that uh, method will actually add a new product category to the list of existing products. Okay, and how is it going to do that? Well, let's see. So I'm going to change the method to POST. I have a JSON type here. So when you go to the header, I'm sending the content type as ex uh, application JSON. Okay, and that's what I'm expecting as well. And uh, I'm going to add product name. And I'm going to say headsets as one of the product categories. Okay. And when I send, when I click on send, you see it, it has added the product to the list of products that I already had. Okay, now how do I make sure that it's added? I can come back here to get method and send again. And I have a list of products and that has headsets now. I can again change, I can add another product here, let's say tablets. Okay, and I send it and I get the same product with its updated ID. And if I go back to get, I see the list of products that has got both headsets and tablets now. Okay, so now let's get back to VS Code and see how it is implemented. So from the last session, I made some changes. I added a get endpoint for slash products. We had one with the ID, but I added one for the products. And this does nothing but it returns JSON for this product slice that we have here uh, with uh, status uh, status OK. All right, now we have a post endpoint for post method for the same endpoints slash products and uh, the method signature is the same. So we have a handler function here and let's see what we are doing here. So we are defining a body struct. Now what is this body struct? So if you see that when we call the post method, we pass some kind of JSON payload here, right? So it, it's going to have a certain format. And to be able to identify it and populate it, we are going to have to define a particular type for this body. So we have a body which is of type struct and it has one field that is name. And that also has a JSON tag. So this JSON tag actually has the name called product name. So when this struct is converted to JSON, the name field will be mapped to the product underscore name field in JSON. So that's what it's meant for. And uh, this field has been exported and this is important because uh, if you don't export it, the JSON tag won't be, won't work. So you have to capitalize the first letter here. Okay. And now we have a, we have a type request body, which is of type body. So we have a variable request body, which is of type body. Okay. And now we are going to call the method bind on the context of uh, context struct. Okay, so if you look at the bind method and it's here, so bind method actually binds the request body into the provided i. So when you provide anything that you provide here, the request body that is passed by the client will be bound to it. Okay. And uh, that is why what we are doing is we are passing request bodies pointer here. And this is also an important part. You have to pass a pointer. If you don't pass a pointer, this would not work. Okay. So I'm passing the pointer and what this c.bind will do is as soon as it receives the request and the request payload from the request, it's going to map it to this request body, which is of type body. And it's going to populate this field name and all the other fields if there's more number of fields there, it's going to populate all of them based on the request. But if it doesn't find both the request body, request uh, payload, and this uh, request body 
to be matching in terms of the parameters in JSON tagging, then it's gonna return an error, which will return back to the user when it happens. All right, so we have a map here, uh, which is of type, uh, which has uh, integer key and string, which is exactly what our product looks like in, uh, in the slice of products. So it's got a product ID and the name as the product's name. So we are declaring a new variable called product and its ID is going to be the length of the current product's slice and then we are going to increment it by one. So we so far have three products in the slice. So we are going to implement it by adding one. And uh, then uh, the name of the product is going to be request body dot name. All right. So this is a product and we are going to append it to our slice of products. So that's how our product slice gets updated. But when we return, we return with uh, the product because uh, the client actually requested for that particular product to be added and we send back the product struct, our product map. So the client gets to know that, okay, this product has been added and its updated ID now is this. Okay, that's what we were seeing. So this is how we implement the post endpoint, all right?